Today's tech tip is going to answer the question, how do I add another owner to Power Automate? The reason this is important is if you only have one owner of a flow and they leave the company, the flow will become orphaned and no one will be able to maintain it or make changes. To add another owner, I have navigated to Power Automate and in the left-hand navigation menu, I'm going to select the third item, which is My Flows. On the next page, we are on the Cloud Flows tab and you see all of the flows that are owned by me. For this first one, I'm going to select the share icon and it will take us to another page. Now I simply need to type in the name of my coworker. This is where I tend to get questions because people are a little bit anxious about this pop-up box. It says owners of the flow will have full access to all connections in the flow and the content within the connected accounts. So for example, in this flow, I am using Outlook and they think that what that means is they're granting full access to their Outlook and somebody's going to be able to read their emails or make appointments on their behalf. And I get why people think that because of the language that's used in this section where it says owners with access to this connections can. But what you need to understand is this is only granting access in context of the Power Automate flow. So what this really means is that whoever is a co-owner on this flow will be able to make changes to the Outlook information built into the flow, but they're not going to be able to have access to your full inbox in Outlook. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK and grant my coworker access to this flow. In Power Automate, when you've added a second owner, that person has the permission to add other owners, update and delete the flow, and delete other owners as well. So Jessica could delete me from this flow if she needed to. The last thing I'm going to show you that sometimes causes confusion is once you've shared a flow with someone, it moves from the Cloud Flows tab to the Shared With Me tab as demonstrated with this training approval flow that we just added a co-owner to. If you need to learn how to add additional owners to Power Apps, check out the video that's on the screen now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.